haunted, historic, a building literally tapped into the energy beneath its foundation. What mysterious secrets does the old Mineral Springs Hotel keep? There is little doubt in, in a visitor's mind when they come to this town, when they walk down the streets or they go to tour an old historic home, something feels different here. Um, people just know it coming into this building. Um, they'll come into the shop and say, what's the story with this place? It, it doesn't feel quite right. Uh, and, and I think people just know. About an hour. I just saw a white mist. Did you? Over there. Right there. It was fast. It just went here. Strong. Who's down here with us tonight? I'm Mike. This is Shauna. Dave Nunnally and his wife Donna operate It's Raining Zen, the metaphysical shop that anchors the current Mineral Springs Mall. He's experienced a plethora of paranormal activity at the old hotel. Well, August Lure, August and Herman Lure were two German immigrants and they had moved to uh, St. Louis uh, in the 19th century. And uh, they weren't happy over there. I, I think if we were probably to be able to drill down to the root cause, I think their wives were not happy. Um, the pollution, the activity level. Um, and for whatever reason, Alton appeared to be a better option for them. So they crossed the river and came over here. And just down Broadway here, down where the McDonald's stands today, is where August Lure's meatpacking I'll call it a plant facility. They were pork butchers, they were German, so that was the meat of choice uh, in Germany. It was the meat of choice here. And, and they had a great business. They did very, very well. And at the time, there wasn't anything like artificial refrigeration to keep the products cold. And, and so they did what the, the local breweries did. They would take the meat and they would use those limestone caves that are just up the road from here uh, going towards Grafton. And they would store things in the caves in the summertime using what little river ice they could carve off. Um, from that river in the, in the winter to try and keep it as cold as possible. When artificial refrigeration became a possibility, ice making. So August Lohr needed a source of fresh water and you couldn't use the river water. And so they drilled a water well here on this property. It happens to be in the very back corner of the slaughterhouse. And the water they found was not good for making ice. It was way warm and it was kind of sulfuric smelling. It was mineral water. And, and so he was a really astute businessman. Um, um, there are lots of stories about August Lure in this town, uh, from the time where he owned the bank in town to the time he, he, he talked himself out of a kidnapping with his kidnappers. Um, this guy was brilliant, and when he found this water, he said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to build a hotel, the most luxurious hotel I can afford to build, and we're going to capitalize on the Mineral Spring water, and I'm going to call it the Mineral Springs Hotel. I come from a, a, a very linear background, if this then that. And when I moved into Mineral Springs, um, every thing I thought I knew about the spiritual world, about paranormal activity, I've had to, to question. I've had experiences, whether it's disembodied voices, full-bodied apparitions, mists, orbs, electronic voice phenomena, things falling off of the wall, and I don't mean falling and tumbling, I mean falling and sticking a landing and sitting straight up and down, and you watch it on the security cameras and you're like, how did that possibly happen? There must be glue or gum or something holding it there, and there's nothing there. Um, prepare to challenge your assumptions about what things are and what they're not. And now, your paranormal tour of the old Mineral Springs Hotel. Can I tell them about the footprints? Yeah. Um That's the first time I came down. That's the first time I think was somebody fighting for air, trying to get up. Okay. Yeah. Someone's just squeezed me, like really tight. Yeah. You feeling squeezed? Mm -hmm. What? I heard something shuffle over there. I'm going to walk back right here where I heard the shuffling. 
start getting the buzzing. And then, whenever I started crouching down, I started feeling a lot stronger. Are you ready? Ready? Yeah, that's fun, and I'm right behind you. Whoa. Now I heard that, sh that shuffling you said you heard? I heard it over there. Shauna just stopped on her tracks over there. She's going to set up Ghosty for the Where's Ghosty. He's over there, isn't he? That's exactly where I got stopped last time. It felt like something grabbed me by the back of the head with, like, vibrations. Except mm -hmm. for not in my ear. Right. But it felt like it just grabbed me by the back of the head, like a... And then just started buzzing. I didn't have any warning. Like, I didn't feel mm -hmm. anything. You just walked right into it. It was yep. just like... Wow, it's still going on. Can we get your name, please? So we actually know who's touching us down here. You did that to me last time. Now you're doing it to Shana. Who are you? Harold? He poke you? It's a pinch. Be barking up the wrong tree, putting your hands on me, dude. My head yeah, you're not allowed to touch like that. So was that your name then? Was it Harold? Or you're just pinching her because she guessed it right that began with an H. If there's something you want us to let us know, just tell us. That's all it takes. Is this not nice to put your hands on people? Not without them knowing about it, not without permission. He's really close. I can feel like he's really mm -hmm. close. Okay, so we were just uh, we just walked in the door, and we were doing just a little setup for the Where's Ghosty picture, and then Shauna got grabbed over there in the corner of the pool. So, yeah, we're about to do some investigating here, but sometimes stuff happens just when it, you just walk in, and you haven't yeah. even set up yet. Yeah, we had no meters, no audio, nothing going. Yeah, there there was um, no warning at all either. He was just usually there's like a. That's upstairs. That's upstairs. That's upstairs in the store. Yeah. It was like somebody had a hand that was just vibrating and grabbed the back of my skull with it. And that's kind of what it felt like. And it just stopped me. It was like a magnet, <laughs> you know? And then whoever it was back there was just kind of lurking around. Uh, you could tell that he was back there, kind of hanging out. But yeah, still. it was in the exact same spot that last time we were here. And I don't have. I don't think we have any footage of it because we were just down here like for a few minutes. I would like to point out that we were here earlier um, and I didn't feel anything. 
yeah, down earlier here. Today. We were here with um, a couple of my very dear friends. Oh. That was a little busier off over there. Cassandra, the little girl down in the pool. I always tell people when they're coming to Experimental Springs, particularly those who are parents, if you had a daughter and something happened to her here in this building, you're not just going to check out and leave. I just don't think that seems reasonable to me. I don't think Cassie died in this building. I think Cassie came here to visit, and I think she never felt more alive than being in this grand structure, this 100-room hotel with Italian marble floors and, and plaster ceilings and room service and air conditioning and orchestras and, and the biggest table that existed at its time in Illinois where it, I think it was 28 people could have dinner and the largest indoor pool at its time. And, and I think she had the time of her life. I think this was a, a Disney cruise ship to her. And then something happened later on. And she went to where she felt most alive for the same reason churches are very haunted. So does your name really begin with an H? The color changed on this. It's all shadow down. Um, right there where the light, you can see where the light is. Just from the reflection from the door, probably. Okay. I remember a story about you. Did you know that? I came here one night and I think it was you that I met. I wanted to tell other people about it, so I wrote a story about you. Do you know the man that's down here? Is he a nice man? I just saw a twinkle out in the pool. We take it all eat. <laughs> well, that sounded like a footstep near me. Yeah, that that was in here, but I had someone over here on the side too. It was like a scoot, a shuffle. Yeah, that's what I thought it was next to me. It was over by you. I heard it on this side. Well, it could be the acoustics. And I just heard it again while I was putting that away. Who's over here? Where are you at? There's someone in here with us. Who is it? What's your name? Tell us who you are. Is that you that begins with an H? I mean, there are... There are documented deaths in the building. We, we, we mentioned one of them just a few minutes ago, the suicide that happened in the hotel bar. Uh, Pearl, who committed suicide in the hotel room that is literally right above one of my stores. And then there was the drowning in the pool of Clarence Blair. Um, both, now two of those suicides occurred in the 19-teens, 1916, 1920, around in there, and then Pearl died in the 1960s. 
So we have documented deaths here in the building. We have a ton of folklore hauntings. The story of the Jasmine Lady is one that everyone likes to talk about. And I've experienced the Jasmine Lady. I, I have. I've recorded her voice. I have seen an apparition. I have experienced that tingly, spider-webby energy feel that, you know, you, you feel that when something's just not quite right. Um, and that's on the staircase just, just at the end of the, the, the main lobby here. heard it down this way. You feeling something here? No. <laughs> Behind me. Behind you. See, that's what I heard before. Something down this way. I felt like someone just brushed up against me from behind. I stepped out and I immediately, the whole little, my, I got the tingly, you know? And then I was like, no, it's behind. And I felt, I felt like something just brushed up against me from behind. Well, okay. Things have all just been gutted like this, huh? Why don't you like any of this up here? <laughs> well, I've been in the first, in that first, just in that first room. I didn't really feel uncomfortable the last time I was here. Oh, I hello. What's up? Feeling it right on my right arm. Hi, how are you? I'm Mike. This is Shauna. We're exploring up here right now. You have a name? We're gonna walk down the hall and just go checking things out right now. That was my pocket for audio. Why is this only half blocked off? I like the cool old door. here with us. Yeah, I'm getting it now. Are you? And you're feeling nauseous. Yeah. Is there a story that you want to tell us from up here? Did something happen here? Look, what Sean and I do is we just try to find out a little bit more information about you, make sure people know who you are, looking for information about the hotel here. We like to learn about the people that have been here, who are still here. Maybe even become friends. Go 
let's learn about the history, about the people, about the lives of those who, who are here. Which one do you think she's in? She have long, kind of light brown hair. Interesting, I was also thinking long brown hair. Back in here because I'm leaving. Where are you at? I'm in every single room until I find you. You trying to play hide and seek with us? I don't want to play hide and seek. I just want to see. Let's see this yeah, I was asking if she was in this room. I thought I kept hearing something from here. You in this room with us? Yeah, so I say like the way off kilter. Yes. I think there's nausea in here also, which I think is just because of the room being. Oh, what was that? It was like a scraping sound. Chairs moved or it was like a scraping sound. You move one of these chairs? Yeah, the it's this way. Is it this way? Yep, right there. Yeah, there's a little dip in the floor right there, which is kinda of weird. where we started let's uh take a few more minutes yeah up here in pearl's room and then um we'll pick up again a little bit see and that's what happened before see that was banging back to her okay we're gonna put you down here so let's do pearl's room like you said what was that i don't know but I saw that was big just saw just a real quick flash of a face right here. Did anybody else see that? You guys were kind of facing that. They were, way. yeah, they were kind of facing that direction. I was busy putting them down, and there was a large something. It was right here, and you know that one picture that I have. Um, it's of me. It was from the vampire photo shoot, and it's just my face close up with blue eyes. Yeah. It was that style of face. It was like the profile. It was right here in this section right there. That would have been about my height. That's the... Get any other... The face would have been right here. Okay. We're in a day and age right now where... If you like the ladies, it's okay to admit that. So, you find Shama attractive? here and talk to us? Ow. Yeah. Oh, my, my wrist just started hurting really bad. My arm, my forearm. Pearl, if that was you that grabbed Shauna's wrist or tried to touch her in some way right there, can you just say your name, Pearl? That was painful. Can you just say your name, Pearl? If it wasn't, if it was somebody else, can you please say whatever your name was? This was Pearl, right here. So she story. was 54 years old. Um, what's the year in there? Because people were asking the year. Oh, date of death, okay, yeah, 1965. So yeah, like I said, about 50 years. July 14th, 1965. She died of an overdose.
What do you think of the doll sitting over here? Do you like dolls at all? Can you see the doll? Oh, that one. I don't know if I can actually see the doll. I'm pretty sure the cameras are not catching this, but... Are you getting it? The area around it, like, shimmer? Yeah, bit, like it's from the heat waves. That's what I was seeing in between me and the doll. Really? But it's not hot enough for that to do the heat wave mirage effect, all of that. That pegged out to three, and now it's at one. I saw it just boom. It's been flickering at two, boom, went to three, and now it's at one. While we were sitting here talking about that right now. Can you hear this, Molly? Our EMF is gone. Oh, it's right here in the middle. You okay? What did you feel? I don't know. It was just really sad. My throat started closing up. <laughs> did you see anything or was just a feeling? I didn't see anything. The story of the haunted mural from the hotel bar, which is about 30 or 40 feet behind me. There's a couple of stories about haunted murals in Alton. They're almost word for word the same as the story about the Mineral Springs haunted mural. And it's a great story. It involved a, an itinerant artist named Charlie who, who came to the hotel and ran up a huge bill. He couldn't afford to pay it, so in lieu of paying his tab, he agreed to paint this mural in the hotel. And then for whatever reason, as all artists are apt to do, he, I, I guess he went up to his room one night and hung himself. So you've got you know poverty, you've got a creative person, you've got drinking, you've got a hotel, you've got all these weird energies going on. If any of it were true, it would make for a great ghost story. But none of it's true. Um, that mural, uh, if you look on that mural, there's actually a speedboat speeding down the Mississippi River. If that mural was painted in 1914 when the building was opened, what we do know is that mural was painted over. It could have been touched up or repainted altogether in 1978 when the building reopened. But the story of the haunted mural, I think, was probably just a surrogate. It came to this building because of other stories of haunted murals in town. So people have a tendency to feed off of each other, and I think that's the biggest challenge that, that we have um, being here in Mineral Springs and, and, and folks who investigate and explore the paranormal have is debunking. We, we've got to take things that we've always been told and we've got to kind of dissect that and peel back the onion, as it were, and find the little nuggets of truth that exist in there and find out whether there's any truth to it or not. And, and I think the hotel uh, mural story is, is just not even true. I don't think there ever was a Charlie. We would certainly have a death certificate or something to reference to, and, and there's just not. There was a suicide in there, though, and we do have that information. I can feel like that. Oh, there's something coming. <clears throat> it's definitely here.
Correct. Not, Is yeah. it the creepy bathroom? Yeah, the creepy bathroom. That, really, you have a 20 degree, you have like a 15, 20 degree temperature drop. Oh, and I can. It totally feels like this, uh, yeah, I can already feel a temperature drop That's here. Oh, it's a lot, a lot colder back here. Ooh. Yeah. You don't like it, but you didn't feel anything. What does that mean? Huh? What does that mean? You don't like it, but you didn't feel anything. I don't like the feeling that the room gives off, but I didn't. I don't think I would want my back to it for very long. Okay. That's weird. Nothing like what I felt upstairs. They've had good K2 sessions back there where the spirits will touch it back around the back of the bathrooms. Yeah. You guys want to see something cool? <laughs> you know the way, well, they, I think you do. I, I do waterborne EVP. I, I do a lot of my EVP is done on gathering water. And there are just sort of certain tones that bring out more boys than some others. So, this, this sound being made by this fountain right here has that hollow tone behind it. It's actually the sound behind the falling water. That it's like a hollow, and you can hear different words. And if we ask if we've got a reporter, right? I can go grab one. We can uh, ask some questions just a little bit away from this water. You should be able to get some answers. You actually hear on the water. I have a recorder on me, so we can okay. use that. Is there someone here that would like to speak to us? Please speak on the water. We'll hear you. I heard a, a pitch change yeah, earlier. Yeah, pitch change. Right. First EVP session. Go ahead and start. Okay, session. let's. If we could, we'll just stand back just a little All bit. Because right. actually, I find that the farther you are away from it, the point where it moves out. All right. Is somebody uh, back over here? Touching oh, no. Shana? No, now it's buzzing by me. It's... Go ahead and tell us something. Go ahead and speak to us. You can use the water. Now he's speaking right there. Yeah. I just heard that. Okay, you heard it. Okay, that's the sound. Is that what I think I heard? And you'll hear, and you'll hear it on the recorder when you right. play it back. Let's play it back. See what we heard. I heard yeah, that. Yeah, I heard that. Did you hear that? That's, the That's what I heard. That's, That's okay. It. Oh, wow. It sounded like you said like a complete sentence almost. Yeah. When you listen to that on something like your sound or, or on or something, you'll hear the full sentence that he speaks. Yeah. I do all of my EVP on water. I actually have a, a fish tank pump and a bucket that I use, and we go on investigations, and I set the recorder about a room and a half away, and then when you, what, you, what you're hearing now with your ear, played through a played through a system, you know, like like something like like a sound program, like like Sony SoundForge or the Audacity program, you can actually hear them speaking. Yeah. And they and it's you know it's piggyback voice. It's right on the other sound, but you can hear the inflection changes and things. So. We know you're here. Thanks for talking to us. Did you hear it? I no. just heard that again. You're, really, you're welcome. Like, that kind of thing. It's very much like a ghost box. It's interesting. That is so... Yeah. Can you tell me something else, please? I just heard a voice. Mm -hmm. Please tell me something about you. What? Yeah, anything. Anything. We can hear you. Where are you from? Where are you from? Why are you here? You don't know? I just heard something over there. Yeah, I heard like, yep. you got a tap or something down in there. There's some movement back yeah, in there. You see that? Yeah. Yeah. See that? How does the hotel look to you right now? That was, yeah. yeah. I, 
are you sure there's nobody over there? <laughs> because I'm hearing so many voices. Yeah. No, so much voice. Just, just, just for a minute. Just she just wants to verify. Just, I have to. <laughs> oh, there was definitely more than one person. It sounds like the way we hear the word over there, but over here. Mm -hmm. Well, I saw something moving around in here a little while ago. Yeah. I'm picking up anything, Chris? Oh, you just got a big spike right there. And then down to nothing. It's camera shock. Yeah. Something around. I got three, four out there. Can you tell us what year well. it is? But I can feel it. I mean, I'm feeling everything. I'm, I'm oh, yeah. I definitely there. feel it. <laughs> yeah, it's going back down. It's moving away. Yeah. Oh, back to one. <laughs> How old are you? 30? I thought I heard 33. 33? Yeah. Okay. hangs out down here. We've heard of somebody here, but we'd rather hear it from you. Sean, I know you've picked up on stuff in here before. Yeah, the last time that I was down here with Donna, and we can fill in somebody in there and then over by the tree, or by the corner of the room. <laughs> and that's water. <laughs> Basic plumbing. This did not actually turn on. That would have been cool though if it actually turned on. You remember what you were getting last time down here? You just saw somebody? I mean, I just saw a little bit of movement over there. And... It's supposed to be a child, right? Yeah. You playing hide and seek behind the tree over there? Put a little box over there on the table, a little gray box. You can go play with that if you want. We're going to play with Ghosty here next to Shana. There's a little blip. Another little blip. You over there by the uh, little gray box? Did you go take a look at that? Oh. Yeah, there's a bigger blip. Yeah, you can play with that. Can you tell us your name so we know who we're playing with? Again, I'm Mike. And the nice lady on the bench there is Shauna. Oh, you like that, huh? Oh, look at that. Very happy to have Ghosty over there. Wow. It's not me. I don't have any. Oh, it got up into the red. Wow. You well, sure you're welcome. You? No, it's not me. So, yeah, you can pick up Ghosty, play with him. Maybe you can hide him on us, and we have to go find him. Steve? There's a little reaction there, yeah. Well, good. Well, when we come back down here to visit, we'll definitely take Ghosty with us. 
and bring him down here every time so that you can play with Ghosty. Well, set some other stuff down over there. So we didn't hear you before. What's your name? Do you like our ghosty? What other toys do you like? Do you want us to bring you something else? Yeah, we just want to talk with you. Just want to become friends. Learn more about you. Are you a boy or a girl? I think that a lot of the hauntings in Mineral Springs are spirits that were drawn here because of experiences they had in lifetime. I also think there's been other activities that have happened here over the years where people who may have not been, let's say, empirical investigators of the paranormal, but perhaps folks who wanted to churn the, the paranormal activity in the building uh, may have conducted, I, I'll say, seances or other kinds of ritual work here that, that has notched up the activity level too. And, and for those kinds of hauntings, we have no explanation why they're here. To the right, there's this door down here that's locked. Oh, by the way, creepy baby carriage to your right. I'm oh. yeah. It's this one here that I opened okay. that had the cold rush of air. <laughs> oh my god, my stomach. I hear your stomach, yeah, it's crazy. Oh, hey. Uh huh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's the exact same reaction I had. I was like, whoa, what, what, what the hell was that? It's not like someone grabbed the door. Yeah. Hello? It's just Mike and Shauna. We're just coming to visit. Do you mind if we come in? I'm going to open the door. We're just going to slowly come in. There's someone there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's... Okay. I mean, they're like right there. I know. If there's, some, if there's a human in there, just say hello and we won't bother you. Is that noise? And we're not talking about your stomach either. No, but oh my god. It is, your stomach is going crazy. My stomach is going nuts. Like, uh. It's like the sub sub basement. Oh, the men only pool. Oh, yeah. Right, okay. Crap. How could we have missed this? Let's see. I'm going to turn on my handy dandy. Notebook. <laughs> oh my gosh. So there's just a whole other pool. Yeah. Wow. 
Look at these old beams. I know, the beams are great. Yeah. As are the, as is the ceiling, that it makes you wonder how the darn thing even stays up. Wow. How in the world is that staying afloat? Okay. Yeah. Check this out. Lee. Check out the, the beam over here. Yeah. There's like... It goes from being, what, a foot oh to my the God, little that, nugget right there. That joist beam, that's yeah. crazy, it's all rotted through. Yeah, apparently there was a cross beam over here, okay. Oh, okay. which is gone. Oh, yeah, there's something next to There's it. something over there, I'm going to check that out. Yeah, can I, I, can I climb up this? Oh, this is a rickety-ass way to go climbing up there. Okay, I'll hold it for you. I'm good. Good thing that's not really... We explore, don't we? We did. It's inconsistent with this. Oh. What do you got there? A bunch of demons dancing around? Yeah, yeah, no, this is where the demons hang out, yeah. That smells sulfur. Yeah, we're good. Well, it's a lot wet in here. Oh my gosh, this place is huge. This place just goes on and on, catacomb after catacomb. It's like a bunch of old furniture, but check out the stonework down here. I said I need three hands. Oh. It's a, uh, it's like a, it's caved in. There's old, an old stone wall. God, it does smell back there too. There's an old stone wall that, yeah, it's got to be like an original wall or something. Jesus. It's like a dead space in there, right? Yeah. Come on, focus. But this looks like an original wall from the 1800s. Like it's just like stones, right. like stacked yeah, up into a wall with mortar. That goes. Like half, it's a, is it a crawl space or? Yeah. Like a dead space I, it was kind. Of, it looks like you could have crawled up in here at one point. They said it smells like it smells like there's like a body in there or something. It, there is a nasty smell back in there. Oh, it could be anything. So yeah, it could be animal or who knows. Demon, you know. Oh. Oh. Cobweb? I felt it, but I walked through it. Yeah. Uh, you nailed me right in the face. <laughs> what hit you? Cobweb. Oh, yeah. Oh well. This is where the spring was? Yeah. Wait a minute. I like this door. In this clip, some sort of line suddenly writes itself across the screen. This was not noticed at the time of recording and only seen during review of the video, but it is on the raw footage. Look at this. Yeah. This just redefines creepy. Oh my goodness. Well, yes, you guys can see this. Do you not know, have don't go in those rooms? No, this is the fall. Yes, there is. And it can move all at once. I'm checking this out. So close. So they filled in the spring, huh? That's a shame. That's where it was. Oh. 
You got that right here. This was a slaughterhouse, and when they, after they dug the well, it was opened as a slaughterhouse in like 1889. And when they, um, they dug for a well, and the mineral water came up, they changed it to the bottom of the plant. Now, see these wood thick, big? Yeah, the wood thick. That's what the fence from the bottom of the mineral water. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's a that's a um, portal. That's a vortex. Absolutely. Yeah, I've shot that before. Yeah, wow. and this thing came. It just rushed up on me from from behind when I was taking a picture. Uh -huh. See, we're just about in it right here. We're right in the center of it. Strange. Uh huh. Oh yeah, uh, that is crazy stuff. Neat so. depths, a floor, yeah. Wow, neat. <laughs> but see, we're on the bedrock. We're on. We're on. Under I mean, this is limestone. And so you've got right on the river, around that limestone, here, and it just pops here. It is. It, this is yeah. crawling. When mm -hmm. I was standing here, when you guys were in fact, um, something just rushed up on me in the right, like made my skin crawl. Mm -hmm. It's like the second creepiest thing we've ever seen. Yeah, how come that door? Isn't it? Yeah, the door's awesome. That door is. This would be. Yeah, this is like one of those places, like a people. Like blindfolded you and then you like we left here and you just count to ten and then you took it off. <laughs> I was gonna bring Christopher Booth here, he'd shoot a movie. Yeah, okay, you would. Yeah. Let's go about that. This place is Enjoy the, the cuisine, enjoy the hotels, enjoy the scenery, enjoy the, the river drive, and enjoy the hauntings because there's a lot of them here. Um, and come back and, and share those experiences with other people. Thank you for watching. If you haven't yet, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click that bell icon to get notifications of all of our upcoming videos. And check out our other paranormal videos off to the side. I'm Mike Ricksecker. I'm Shauna Wonka. Until next Friday night.